Hello again, you're with the Harry Golfer at Lilybrook, and I'm on the 10th tee. I had a little surprise a few weeks back, I had a phone call, and it was, do you want to test some golf balls? And I honestly thought it was a bit of a wind-up. I mean, why would anybody ask me to test golf balls? But they were very insistent. A few days ago, the golf balls actually turned up at my house. Now, the manufacturer is French. What they're trying to do is to break into the ball market on the back of the uh, Paris Ryder Cup win. Sorry, had to mention it for my American friends. I said, okay, fair enough. Why don't you ask some French professionals to test these balls? I mean, they're gonna be far better than me. But they said, no, we want an amateur to test them. And we saw your ball test the other day and you say how it is. So I'm here to test some golf balls. And here they are. Earth Golf. Not too sure I like the spelling, but what they say is these golf balls are unique. They're brand new and they've got some great ideas in this box. As you can see, they're not even round. The idea is, is that depending on how you put this on the tee, it will shape the ball in flight. Um, So what I did to start with, I did a bit of a Rick, Rick Shields. I thought I'd cut one open. Well, there you go. It's a proper three-piece construction, although the quality control isn't very good because the, uh, the centerpiece isn't exactly in the middle. So, let's give these Earth golf balls a good workout. Tea box. Let's get a club and a tea pig then, shall we? So the first ball I've put in the fade position. So I'm just going to aim down the left and see if this fades. I've got the shot tracer on, so let's see how good this is. Right, the second one I'll put in the draw position. So this one's in the draw position. I'm just going to aim a little bit down the right and see if it draws. These balls are really going. They're good. Right, the last ball, this is going to be the interesting one. What you do is you put it pointy end first and you hit the back side end of it and it goes like a bullet. I might have too much club here if I might reach the green. Well, that one's gone absolutely miles. I'm going to check this on Shot Tracer. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed. The Shot Tracer didn't pick up those three shots. I mean, they're absolutely miles up the fairway. So I'll, I'll put this in a different position. We'll get, get some more pictures of these golf balls. Let's smash in.
What fantastic golf balls. I mean, I've absolutely smashed those down the fairway there. Little face, little draws. Been brilliant. There's just one last test, and that's the seventh green over here. Because what they say is, depending on how you put the ball on the green, it will eliminate the break, so that every putt is a straight putt. That sounds brilliant, doesn't it? Let's go do it. Right. Well, I've picked a putt here across the slope. So, uh, it's definitely... Where's my finger? It's definitely outside the hole out here somewhere. I'm going to see if I can straighten it up by putting this, uh, this earth golf ball down in the right uh, orientation. Sold it. Well, I'm not sure that's working very well. And I think their cover material isn't very good. Because we've got some uh, serious damage here to these golf balls. I don't think they're gonna last very long. The only thing I would say is they're quite cheap. They're only about um, £1.90 a dozen. Anyway, what do you think of my first ball test? I don't think I'll be buying any, and I really wouldn't recommend that you buy them either. Cheerio!